and welcome to part 4 of Metroid 2 Return of Samus. As you can see, the acid's gone, and we're gonna make our way deeper into the planet. That was a new enemy, but we killed it fast enough that we don't have to deal with it anymore. And we're not gonna be seeing them for quite a while. Not like it matters, because with the plasma beam, anything dies in one shot. Except for the Metroids. And just through here, we're gonna see another couple of new enemies. And they're pretty nasty. This bad thing that spits acid if you get too close to it. And then you've got these bird things that look like they spit bullets at you. They're actually quite handy to kill because the bats give away missiles. Okay, that wasn't so good, but hey, I got past them. These things, only breakable by missiles. And as you can see, more acid blocking us, so we've got to go up. Another one of these glow bug things, but they're not too troublesome. Oh, and more pinch of flies. Something tells me this is going to be something of a repeat area. I mean, if the enemies are the same, then yeah. I'd say that's a very fair assessment. Okay, whatever. Switch to my missiles because I do remember that there is a gamma in here. And this one ain't getting off so easy. I'm just going to be as aggressive as I can. See? Aggression pays off. Go through here because we've got a missile pod down here. In fact, it's in this episode where we're going to max out our missiles and energy tanks. And I guess while we're at it, I might as well go up and show you the new type of Metroid because we're at the point where they're going to start mutating yet again. But I have to really watch where I'm flying because, yeah, a lot of these pincher flies are out and about. And if I take a hit, I'm going to end up losing my spin. There we go. Okay, so now we'll take a short trip through this Hall of Spikes. And it's a pretty long trip, too, because, as you can see, there's a lot of spikes. Just keep a cool head and maintain your rhythm with jumping, and you'll be just fine. Alright. As you can see, the Gamma's getting ready to molt. So I'll pull out my missiles, start the fight, and hopefully I can do this in one shot. The older they get, the cuter they ain't. And the same goes for their intelligence. He was just flying right into my missiles one after another. But the fact that I actually took that hit, that was my own fault because I let off on the trigger a little too soon. And the result was needless damage. But then again, I got the job done, so yeah. Reason enough to celebrate. Alright, so we'll keep on going up because we've got another one up here. But this time it's only a gamma. But first... More missiles. Hey! Wise guy. So we'll go up here. And the fight begins yet again. You know what? Alright, that does it! You wanna bitch around? Well, guess what? You're going down this time. Go away, and leave me alone! <sighs> what an asshole! But luckily, I get my health back. Hey. Ugh. <sighs> I swear I hate this controller sometimes. And yes, I'm still using my Switch Pro controller, but sometimes I wish I didn't have to. But then again, sometimes when it's all you've got, you're gonna have to roll with the punches. And the same is true for any situation in life. Like, I could tell you stories, but at this point, I don't really see the need. So we'll just go up here, keep spinning our way up, and once I get high enough, like right here, just uh, wait for this thing to get out of my way. Okay, whatever. Not exactly what I wanted to have happen, but at least I can get in here. We got another one of those ugly Zeta Metroids in here. And yes, that's the name of the Metroid I had just encountered. The new one. But this time, it's in such an open space that I'm not going to be able to pull off the same trick. In fact, I will tell you a little more about this thing. You know, back off, pal. If I lure him into the hallway. You know, I'm just gonna... Keep it under 
All right, now I got you. What was I so worried about? I actually managed to pull it off. I looped him into a sunlock and finished him off faster than I thought. And in here is our last suit upgrade of the game. And it's about damn time, too, because I was actually wondering if I was ever going to find this thing. Sometimes my memory is not as sharp as it used to be. But sure enough, I was right. Behold, the mighty screw attack. Spin into an enemy, and it's chopped liver. Quite literally, in fact. But we've still got a job to do. We've got three more metros to take up in this area, and I want them down. Sooner than later. Unfortunately, unlike Super Metroid, you cannot use the screw attack to break certain blocks. But let me tell you, that would be something else. It'd be sweet, even! Alright. So now we're gonna make our way up, because we've got items and we've got Metroids. Not necessarily in that order, but... whatever. We've got a job to do, so we might as well get it done. And yeah, it seems a little slow and boring, but whatever. Gotcha! What? No energy? What a cheapskate. Alright, so we'll go in here, because we've got another gamma to take out. And this hallway is a lot shorter than the other one down below. But we have to go further into the sand trap to find the gamma. Not like it matters, because we've got more than enough energy, and more than enough missiles. Alright, let's dance! Get off my ass, you little prick! See? Like I said before, you mess with the bull, you get the horns. And we've got two metros left in this area. So far I'd say we're doing a pretty good job of taking out the trash. Well, on paper we are, but on the whole, my performance is kinda sloppy. Break that. Okay. So now we'll go up here, and this is where we'll max out our energy tanks. And we're almost done loading up our missiles as well. Alright, there we go. First, our energy tank. And a little ways down, missiles. And believe it or not, there's actually another energy tank we can get. There's a grand total of six in this game, but for some strange reason, you can only carry five. I don't understand, nor do I need to. There's the other one. Oh, and look at this nasty enemy. A shell covering its entire body. And here is one of the most annoying sections of the game. Oh. That was actually a lot easier than I thought. So the last thing for me to do is to go back into the maze and find that missile pod. Okay. Now we'll go over here. Pull this up. Okay, now I can roll. Mission accomplished. I've got all my items. And once I reload, I'll be good. Come on. Let me out. Okay. The sweet taste of freedom is almost mine. Durable shield. What can I say? And I guess one thing that's true is, they don't build them like they used to. Alright. Any second now. Here we are. It's in here where we will fight our last gamma of the game. And it looks like I have pulled the short straw because this is the long hallway. Oh well. Like I said before, these guys are chopped liver. We have to strike. And we'll go to work. Good night! This is going by... Pretty smoothly, all things considered, but this is nowhere near my level of gameplay skill. So yeah, just keep on rolling with the punches, and whatever happens, happens, I guess. So we got one more Zeta left. In 
fact, that's the one mutation that you're going to see the least of in this entire game. I mean, it's not of any consequence, because I find them to be the most annoying, especially considering their aggression level. But here we are. Hopefully I can finish this guy off rather fast, because I was able to pull off that stun lock, which I like to codename the Missile Punch. But we'll see. Come on. Here we go. Round three, for the last time. Well, if you want to be a jerk, I can just pummel you until you bleed. Done yet? Now you're done. Yeah, I guess I'm not as good at taking those things out as I thought I was. But our mission is done, so we might as well get the hell out of here. There's a little more to this area, but at the same time, I don't really need to show it off, at least not yet, so... I'm just gonna cut through here, and make our way back to the main area. Save point if you need it, but since this is Virtual Console, I really don't need to use it. Not like it matters, because everybody plays on Virtual Console these days. Up. And down. Okay. All in all, a job well done, but sloppy as hell. But then again, I believe I could take pride in the fact that I'm probably not the sloppiest player out there. Okay. Here we are, back in the main world. At this point in time, we're gonna go deeper into the planet, and we're gonna find some more Metroids. I believe we only have one in this next upcoming area. At least if my memory serves correct. Alright, so we're going here, and we're going to see something drastically different. A lot of these cactus ball looking things make up the ground. Not sure what they are. It's quite strange. Let's go. Shoot everything in my way. Yeah, we're good. And I guess once again I'll just uh, take a run through the lava. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, I don't take excessive amounts of damage. Oh, and these guys are back. Surprise, surprise. Okay, now, the next metro we're finding is right up here. And when you see it, you might actually be in for a bit of a shock. Lord knows I sure was when I first saw it. Alright. Come on, keep going. There we go. Now let's bag us another Metroid. More of these things. No, screw you all. Really? None of you cheap wads wanted to give me any energy. Well, that's just unkind of you. Alright. That bastard Metroid is in here. Oh. Uh, what the hell? Okay, this isn't supposed to be here. But anyway, we got a job to do. That's right, it's an Alpha. Alright, done like dinner. Oh, wait a second. There's another shell here. Something's not adding up. And we've got an earthquake. So obviously, a new area is going to be opening up, right? Well, you'd think so, but this is the one rare case that the earthquake actually makes the acid rise. So we're stuck here. See? Can't get out. But that's no biggie. That just means we've got one more Metroid to fight. And once we do, we're gonna see our latest mutation. And that enemy is gone. Alright. So, in a few seconds, we're going to see the final known mutation of Metroids. And that little block glitch is gone. Alright, time for the last Metroid. This is the Omega Metroid. In the instruction manual, it's defined as having incredible power and a big size. What you want to do is you want to hit this thing in the back. It's incredibly weak in the back. If you do this, you'll only need 15 missiles, but it turned around a little too soon, so yeah. 
Missed me. Ha <laughs> ha! Didn't even take a hit. So while the Omega Metroids are not nearly as agile as the more aggressive Zeta Metroids, here's the thing. Their power is really incredible because they will do a lot of damage if they hit you with their fireballs or even touch you. So all you can do is aim for the back, avoid them where you can, and that's that. And now we can move on to the final area. Oh, I actually thought the guy was going to hit me. But I guess I'm a little better at dodging enemies than I thought. Just keep on shooting just to make sure nothing pops out and hits me. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Now we'll just take a little stroll in the acid. I mean, yeah, I'm taking hits left, right, and center, but it's not the end of the world. Plus, I've still got four full energy tanks. What's the worst that could possibly happen? And more of these glow bug things. Not like I care, because these guys are pretty chintzy enemies. As far as I'm concerned, they're, they're there just for show. Okay. Just about at the top, and just up here, we're about to enter the final area of the game. Home of the Mo Queen Metroid. <laughs> 